Animal Crossing New Horizons is the newest game in the Animal Crossing series, and you know, it's on the Nintendo Switch, and it's a big hit. Everybody seems to love Animal Crossing New Horizons, and a lot of them aren't willing to point out the flaws. It's honestly stupid how much they don't care how Animal Crossing is being handled. The game has taken a turn from being really good into missing so much stuff, and to be fair, it does seem as if they're adding it in patches, but it doesn't feel like it works. They've taken out so much stuff from the game and just tried to replace it, and, it, and it's not worked. But I will give it credit where it's due. The game is really good, and it's worth all the money, and blah blah blah. It looks good, feels, plays good, all the fish and bugs are look really weirdly realistic, but, you know, it's, it's all good. But there are, of course, some things that I don't like about it, and honestly, it shouldn't be getting all the praise it is. Because even though I do love the game, it's still got a few glaring flaws. Time traveling, uh, I don't agree with the time traveling at all. You know, people can argue, oh, I, I spent $60, I can play the way I want to, and it's like, yeah, that's true, but I also wouldn't like to have the game leaked by people who are just wanting to play the game as they do. Of course, I'm not in the band of people who think, oh, if you're a time traveler, you're literally the scum of the earth, because, you know, it's a video game, and that might not be the best uh, that, that might not be the best comeback little rebuttal you've ever heard, but it is true. Animal Crossing is a video game. And at that, it's also a video game designed for small children. Uh, you can say whatever you want, that games are for all ages, and I agree, anyone can play a game, but you'd be lying to yourself if you thought Nintendo wasn't making games for kids. There's a reason it's rated E for everyone. But, speaking of it being rated E for everyone, there are a few things that get annoying about that. Mainly, the fact that the villagers have just been watered down so hard. They no longer have any mean dialogue, and they're honestly just way too supportive of you from the beginning. The least they could have done is had them be unsure of you, you know, no one's gonna warm up to somebody immediately, that's just not how it works. But, it is a kid's game, whatever, you also pay taxes in it, but that's <laughs> that's besides the point. The whole PETA thing, this is probably one of the worst things to come out of the Animal Crossing community fan base. is the whole PETA drama that happened a while back. If you're not in on the loop, PETA basically made an article about, oh, is it ethical to catch bugs and fish in Animal Crossing? Yes, because it's a game that's like playing Doom and saying, oh wow, now I want to go shoot people. Yeah, that's not how games work. Somebody who does something in a game doesn't mean they're doing it in real life. And especially, I don't even think fishing and stuff is particularly unethical in real life. You know, I think fishing's fun. I enjoy it, but you know, whatever. Uh, on turnip trading. Oh god, the fan base when it comes to turnip trading is awful. To be fair, this has kind of stopped after people realized how stupid it was. But at the start of the game when turnips were, well, they weren't new, because we've had turnips for forever. But turnips were not something... Uh, a lot of new people came to the new Animal Crossing, obviously. So I guess some of them don't really understand the etiquette and how stupid you look when you're asking for 50 McMiles tickets and 60,000 bells for somebody to come to your island and sell you and sell their turnips to you. That's that's ridiculous. You know, it, it has gotten a lot better now. When I see people trading turnips, they usually just they'll take they'll let them come and sell for free and they'll accept tips, which. That's, that's kind of how the game should be used with the turnip feature, in my opinion. How could you not make an Animal Crossing video without bringing this guy up, but... Raymond. I don't like Raymond. 
the first time I saw Raymond, I thought it's it's a cool design. And then, well, you know, Twitter and the whole fan base happened, and uh, safe to say Raymond is not. Yeah, I don't like him anymore. You can call me whatever. You can call me a hipster, but at the same time. I, I don't think I am, because if I was a hipster, I'd be saying I liked Hazel. Yeah, no, I know that half the people who are in who would say they like Hazel is because she's unpopular. No, if she's unpopular, it's for a reason. Hazel's definitively a bad villager, and, you know, you can make the argument, Oh, but I like her personality. Okay, yeah, but, uh, she's not exclusive to that personality type. There are many other villagers. That are in the exact same personality type as her, but like a villager dialogue. They they really they really did it in there. You've got smugs just talking in foreign language and lazies talking about the bugs under their bed. I don't know if Nintendo knows this, but lazy doesn't exactly mean slob with bugs head to toe covering his house. Uh yeah, it's 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 not it's not my favorite thing that they've added in the game. Because, you know, Zucker, he's one of my favorite villagers, but now it's just hard to talk to him. I, I don't like seeing it anymore. For all the things the game does wrong, it does get a lot right, as I said. Good graphics, it's just... It is a good game, but they really, they really need to figure out what they're doing. Because the fact that they also just took out so much content, like diving, the art part of the museum, and even Leaf, just to bring that stuff back in new updates. Sure, they're free DLC, but with how long they took and the fact that they took extra time into making it, they had to push back the date to make it. You think they might as well have just gone all out and added everything they wanted to in the game. Or maybe they thought people didn't care for those features and then brought them back once they realized they did. But, you know, it's it's a game. Nobody's ever going to be 100% happy with it. And I think that that's fine, but... Ugh, seeing all this stuff on Animal Crossing, you know, I love it, but... Seeing it exclusively on my timeline does get kind of annoying. But, you know, what can you do about it? The game's good, people are gonna enjoy it, and there's nothing you can really do to stop it, no matter how annoying they get in the end. My bottom line here is that, and it's not even the game's fault, It's a, this video is more about the Animal Crossing community, if anything. You guys need to just, you guys need to fucking do something, because... At this rate, I'm pretty much thinking about cutting off everything Animal Crossing related. The only thing I'll be doing is actually playing the game. I'll no longer be talking to the soy boys who pretend to like the game to get them the fucking in zone with blue haired girls. I don't care. I don't care about the Animal Crossing community and I don't care about Raymond. I don't care about any of it. I will also say that I don't know why I liked Raymond in the first place. He's it's not the best design. It's a a, part, a big thing about Animal Crossing is people complain about the designs being too simple, but you got to remember this is Nintendo where Kirby is one of their main franchises. I like Kirby, but it's it's a pink circle with two dots and some nubs. That's it. But, you know, Animal Crossing has to be all intricate and designed and hoo hoo hoo. Look at this wacky cat with multiple eyes, like what the heck? No, it's... he's not good. Uh, a lot of the villagers I like are very simple, and that's because simple can be effective. I mean, Mario was a fucking hit game when it came out, and do you see what that guy looked like? On the topic, Pac-Man too. Like, I know Pac-Man's not Nintendo, but come on, you can't tell me that simplistic games aren't good. I I know that at the time of Mario coming out, we weren't quite as technologically advanced as we are at the time of Animal Crossing: New Horizons coming out. But I think my point still certainly stands. Uh, it's just it's something that's hard to watch. It's hard to watch. A franchise you like, you dwell into the depths of toxicity, 
as people rage about time travelers and people not giving them good enough tips on turnips or trying to catch a fish. I don't know, dude. I will also be talking about other criticisms of the game that I don't really like. Once again, it's a game that you can pay. You paid for it. You play it any way you want. But one thing I see a lot is people saying time traveling isn't cheating. It, it is. It is definitively cheating. You're playing the game in a way it wasn't meant to be played. They took out the in-game clock feature. You used to be able to set the clock in-game. They took that out to try and stop people from time traveling so easy, but people did it anyway. It is cheating. You can't tell me it's not, but I also don't think you should be burned on the cross for doing it. I don't care. As long as you're not going on Twitter and spoiling it for me. Which, you know, also applies to data miners, but huh, whatever. What, what, once again, what do I know? I just like playing the video game. <sighs> Next up is the people who think that people should be playing the game in a certain way. This even includes the people bashing people for not liking ugly villagers. You know, in this picture, it's making fun. Oh, look, back in the old days, people said... <sighs> You know, you're not, you're not dead, I didn't like you, but now you're cool and also my neighbor. And it's like, okay, but fucking Static is just cool. He's not, I don't think Static's widely considered an ugly villager. And then you see, ho oh, oh, ho, down at the bottom, here's this cringy girl saying, um, <laughs> you're ugly, <laughs> eh, no. It's like, <laughs> Okay, but do you not remember all the people raving about wholesome Hazel Reno? Oh, it's hip to hate her. It's it's hip to love her, so I love her. It's like, dude, n none of you are cool. You're all playing it wrong. You know why? Because you're choosing to fucking belittle other people playing it. This, it's, you're playing a game. People can play the game how they want to. And that's my bottom line, is that... The Animal Crossing community is shit, and I just hope it changes one day.